I'm going to go over sum and difference of cubes today. Now, I'm going to be using this acronym, same, opposite, always positive. You will notice that when you factor out a sum or difference of cubes, it's always going to take the form I have here. A blank B in parentheses, then A squared blank AB blank B squared. So I'm going to be using this a few times today in the course of these two problems. So you'll notice here I have 27x to the third and 64. Now my first step is I want to find the cube root of both of these. Cube root of 27x to the third is going to give me 3x. That's going to be A. Next I want to find the cube root of 64. That's going to be 4, which will be B. And now all I have to do is basically fill in the blanks. So I'm going to take my formula, I'm going to pop it down here. So for A, I have 3x. For B, I have 4. Now this would be 3x squared, bear in mind. Make sure you're squaring that whole thing. I would have A times B, which would be 3x times 4. And then I have B squared, which is 4 squared. Now where are my operations? This is where it comes in. Same. So since this is a subtraction problem, I'm going to use subtraction. Opposite. Opposite of subtraction is addition. And then the last one, always positive, plus. So I'm just about done factoring it. All I have to do is simplify it. 3x minus 4. 3x squared. Now remember, you're going to square the 3 and the x, which will give you 9x squared. And then 3x times 4 gives me 12x. 4 squared gives me 16. So it's, you know, it's not that bad. Don't be intimidated by this. It's relatively easy once you get the idea of the form and the formula. So let's do the next one. This one's going to be a sum. I get 8x to the third. Find the cube root of that, which would be 2x. That's going to be a. Find the cube root of 125. That's 5. And that's going to be b. And once again, we're just filling in blanks. Same formula. So then I would take A, which is 2x, B, which is 5. And that's going to be 2x squared, the whole thing squares. And then 2x times 5. And then times B squared, which is going to be 5 squared. If I can get this in before the bell. And then, again, soap. Since this is addition, same, opposite of addition, subtraction, always positive. And then just wrap it up and simplify it. 2x squared, 4x squared, 2x times 5 gives me 10x, 5 squared gives me 25. I have just factored a sum and difference of cubes. So again, if you remember, the same basic formula, a blank b, a squared blank a b blank b squared. And then you just use the acronym, same, opposite, always positive. You can fairly easily always factor out a difference or a sum of cubes. Best of luck.